Hi everyone, Peter here. Just wanted to run through some of the differences between the 1GD and the 1KD. Obviously people are going to have some questions. Will the same problems that happened with the 1KD end up happening with the 1GD? Well they are completely different engines. There isn't too much that's the same. Block, cylinder, head, pistons, rods, timing components. Everything has changed. Oil cooler, the whole works. With uh, this 1KD, it's very traditional Toyota, as I say, the way they run the cams, bucket and shim tile style arrangement. The timing components are very same, very similar the same. This is 1HZ, 1KD, uh, sorry, 1KD, 1KZ, 1HDT, all run this type of arrangement where we go timing gears to the pump and then a belt from the pump to the cam. As I say, 1HZ, well, they all did it that way. This is different for Toyota as far as in their diesel range, obviously all the petrol range, have been this in this configuration for a long time with a single timing component running from the sump to the cylinder head. Um, so we've seen that a lot in petrol, but it's the first time it's crossed over to commercial diesel. One of the big questions would be why do they do that? Well, a big reason is when you add up the weight of all your timing gears, belt, etc., in the front of this, you're looking at five and a half kilos. Then you go to a chain style arrangement with the gears and the change only looking at 1.5 kilos. So there's four kilos difference just in the weight or steel used to manufacture the timing components. When you consider that you're dealing with a smaller capacity engine, you've got that the people want it to accelerate faster, pick up faster, spin faster, etc. Well, obviously the easiest way to do that is make it lighter. If it's lighter, it's easier to spin, uh, which is sort of a bit of the flavor of the whole right through this, but as I say, I've got some other videos made that will go into a little bit more depth as far as other components and what's different, what's the same. Um, some of the problems, as I say, I'll, I'll touch base on why we're actually doing the 1GDs, we've been doing a few of them, obviously not the, to the amount of 1KDs, that's every single, like flat out every day with those. But as always, if I can help, if you've got a 1KD, a 1GD or a problem with any other Toyota diesel that you think I might be able to help, 